Nine of 200 laps complete, about to be 10. Joe Nemechek is leading. He took the lead from Casey Mears, the pole sitter, on the first lap and has opened up a two and a third second advantage on second place, Kurt Busch. You see the gap first to second coming at you. Dale Earnhardt Jr. started in 16th position. He fell back to the field. And as you can hear, is struggling with that race car. And this is the second place driver in the NASCAR Next Hill Cup Championship standings. They say it's rolling over. Is that what he said, BP? I thought he said rolling over. It's really loose. I did hear that part. It looked like he's waving. He's going to probably come in the pits this time. I would. This. I don't think this is a bad idea on his part. Put a spring rubber in the right rear. Keep that spoiler up. Here he comes off the final corner, and indeed, Earnhardt Jr. will come to pit road under the green flag at lap 30. So it's Kurt Busch leading, Jeff Gordon second, Greg Biffle third. Jimmy Johnson should cycle around the fourth, followed by Joe Nemechek fifth. Then Elliott Sadler, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, Brian Vickers, and Tony Stewart at the top ten as they get back up to full speed after the series of pit stops. There's Gordon. Man, that car looks fast. It does. So Jeff Gordon goes to the point. We talked about Joe Nemechek coming down pit road. A couple of things went wrong on his pit stop. Ricky Craven is pitted in the next stall behind him, and Craven's team had dropped the signboard down because Craven was following Nemechek in. So he stopped the pit short, then moved forward, and then they had problems with the jack. The Watch jack here. wasn't up quite high enough. And so it cost Joe Nemechek a pile of time. Instead of leading the race, he's two and a third seconds behind Jeff Gordon. Very disappointing effort for the pit crew.